Hello. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome to the place where we celebrate mediocrity. The least, the least celebrated parts of the body. Today our special focus is the weenies. Oh. Hey, welcome back to our stupid directions of Corbin. I'm Rick. And you can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. <laughs> Thanks on Patreon for the true account. Subscribe if you haven't done like button. Thank Hi, Patreon. So oh, yeah. Oh, you dirty little Patreon babies. My Patreon is where they got those sexy 1970s looks of mine. Disgusting. From Minx. Gross. You're going to lose patrons. Uh, today we got a food video. This is the world's best vegetarian food. $2.78 all you can eat. Wow. Banana leaf, say this word. Banana leaf sadhya. And this is Kerala, Kerala. India. Have you seen this guy before? No. Okay. Uh, and he's a big food guy, uh, uh, vlogger. He goes all around the world and eats different right. food. So this is uh, him. Just so you know. So is this the world's best vegetarian food according to him? Yeah, I'm sure that's just for the title. It's just probably really good. It's like vegetarian. World's food. greatest cup of coffee. Congratulations. But it might be. You Might be that? in New York. Or in no, I don't. I'd love to know where that is because there's a lot of landmarks when you're in New York. Like you can go see the Friends apartment, you can see the restaurant from Seinfeld. So I'm sure somebody could find out. But but like if you go into Macy's, if you go into Macy's, they have the they have a special section set up where they did the keyboard dance in Big. Oh yeah, that's there in in Macy's there um, on Thirty Second, I think it is Thirty Second Street and Sixth, I think. Also, I. Because I've always said I wanted to do like a um, try food on a banana leaf. Yeah. You know, I found it. Did I tell you I found them? No. Here? Vallarta, right across the street. Really? Sells banana they leaves. They sell banana leaves. That doesn't surprise makes sense. me. Vallarta is a, uh, a Mexican grocer. Yeah. Uh, and it just it's never big. dawned on me to go there. Right. But it should have because the, the cultures are so similar. It's so beautifully different. Yeah. But they're so similar in a lot of their lives. That's and Drani said that within three months of being here. Oh yeah. Because it's such a Hispanic culture is so huge in LA. She was like, it's really strange how similar yeah, the cultures similar. are. Yep. Here we go. Tiruvananthapuram, India, in the state of that was Kerala. That sounds like a good pronunciation. A mother's veg plaza to eat a traditional sadhya, completely vegetarian meal. But it's going to be an impressive meal with a huge mix of different dishes. Maybe we could try that. I love that. I don't know where to get it. Mother's Veg Plaza. Now we're going to go in here and we're going to enjoy the You know, I vegged on your mother. Experience. Oh. Uh. Well, this place is back. You step in here, it's just like a dining hall it's waiting for a table. The demand for the chairs at this restaurant, seats at this restaurant is so high that as soon as you literally have to stand behind the table. We got a chair over there and we got a chair over here now. We're talking about this is awesome. We have banana leaves on the table. And I think this napkin is to wash wipe it, it down. Wipe it down. Yep. Oh, I'm guessing so they throw so those away after. So the Probably. The table is covered in banana leaves. No now waste. After. The first things are a bunch of crunchy things like papadam, banana chips, and a banana. These are different chutneys. Pickles. All different acha. Different Reminds me of our videos, the sound behind the videos. Yeah, all the talking. Maybe chutneys. I see. These are chutneys. Bitter melon, dollar guard, bitter guard. Yogurt based. That's a lot of stuff. Where's the non bread? This food is specifically catering to the Ayurveda, the different herbs, the different medicinal values of everything. What would you pick? Uh, brown. I'm racist. I always I always use brown over white just because of the health value of the whole grain. <laughs> my my wife adores white rice. It's just how could she not? She's Bengali. 
just seeing them so far, I've learned that the top section of your banana leaf are like the different pickles, the different garnishes, like almost like different sauces. That mm, those are spicy. Flavor, yeah, I know that. The rice half over here is going to be where the main dishes are served, kind of one by one, maybe, or in a series, in a, in a ritual. Okay, to begin your meal, this is what you have to eat. It's like a sugar jackery. I was going to say jackery, yeah. Jaggery is sweet. It's delicious. That is so good, too. Like crunchy jaggery, huh? And now you begin with the banana chips. Banana chips are so good, too. Homemade banana chips. Have you had homemade you banana chips? Yeah, rice. yeah, it's so, so delicious. Brown not my favorite. Not necessarily oh. healing properties, but like maintain the health, um, the mix of ingredients, and you mix the papad first with the rice. And the nice. Top. Look at the thumb getting ready to shovel. He's eaten with his hands before. Do you guys eat with your hands at home? In Dron anytime oh, there's oh, rice, in Dron, he's eating with her hands. Oh, that's just tasty, dog. Just like soothing and flavorful, and and if she makes dollin and rice and stuff like that, dish. yeah. Okay, and then from here you can start adding the different uh, side dishes, the different flavorful. She uh, taught me how to do that. The the, the thumb shovel. Gooseberry. Gooseberry. All natural. He's very short. Of all the I cannot wait to Did he say life is very short? Is that what he said? I think so. Life is very short. Need a gooseberry. <laughs> Great shirt. Life is short. Need a gooseberry. I just noticed his I like yeah, his shirt. Yeah, me too. <laughs> life is short. Eat a gooseberry. Uh, let's see. Heat. Here comes the heat. I just remember when I was in India, they said that. He has a large smile. Yeah. And his eyes smile too. Spicy. Two different virgins. One is pineapple. Oh, 12 different virgins. And I'll taste all three in a row. So in the pineapple. And just the pure, the pure flavor of it without rice to taste how it is. Pineapple and ginger. Pineapple ginger chutney? That sounds wow. delicious. This is a what? Sambar. Sambar. I'm getting the hang of the style. You, you eat the rice with the main dish and then you mix the different flavorful like toppings, like sauces to go with it. Okay, next up for the cucumber version. And that's yogurt. That's cucumber yogurt? Oh. And mustardy. And by the way, the, this one is the bitter gourd. Mm. Oh, the bitter gourd. <laughs> it's like, it tastes like dehydrated bitter gourd, like leathery slightly with that bitterness, with that sour yogurt. Mm. Mix up the sambar next with the rice, that bitter gourd chutney on there, that bitter gourd yogurt. Sambar. It has this wonderful sourness to it, like hammering, right? Yeah. It's hammering sourdough. Every single chutney, every single variety has a totally different flavor. And I love how it makes use of especially fruits and vegetables. I mean, all fruits and vegetables. There's a vegetarian restaurant, but, but fruits contrasting vegetables to create these like sours and sweets and spicy harmony of flavors in your mouth and bitter it's all it's astoundingly good <laughs> rose water Looks like it, right? Rose water? It looks what it looked like. The color of it. You can say chana. Chana. Should I say? Yeah, sure. Okay. This is a full spice that we are going to have. We are going to mix half a banana with that. And the paisam's name is Adap Pradaman. Adap Pradaman. Adap Pradaman. There's no way I'm going to be able to say that. Adap a little bit scared that the rice courses might be over when they brought out the payasin, which is more of like the sweet dessert. But no, it's just this is the correct order. This is the custom of eating. So we have payasin number one, which we're going to mix with half of the banana, 
What? And then after that, we'll go back to more other courses of rice and other courses of dishes. So this is not even close. I've never squished up a banana and put it in something. Unbelievable oh, veg meal. I have. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Almost. Great band name. Oh. Noodle shavings. Tastes like cinnamon applesauce. Yeah. Like apple he looks like Tachar a little bit. A little bit. So I've been doing this for almost four years now. I still don't like the feeling or look of stuff on fingers. Yeah. It's not the eating that, that bothers me. It's actually the stuff on the fingers. I just don't like having stuff on me. Like when you poop and get it on your fingers? Yeah. Yeah. Very sticky too and gooey. It feels like honey. Honey in your fingers almost. It's just <laughs> grosses me out. I don't know why. That banana and like a sweet sticky goo. Like a lot of people think it's the it's fact that honey. it's he's eating with his hands. It's right. Not, and it's not it. it. No. It's, it's the actual visual. It's visual it's visual of stuff on the up. hands. It's just... <laughs> he has such a smile. Sugar. Oh, that one, Jerry. This is pie sum number three. No banana this time. Made with sugar, this one, right? Ah, oh, you can feel the little, like, wheat, doughy. What is it? It's a sugary something. Sweet, kind of like, yeah, very sweet and milky. Do they have forks at this place? This one is the next one. Next <laughs> I'll have to travel with a fork. <laughs> oh, what's that? Pancake! Oh, that's like a fruit. Yeah. This one you get a little piece of dough fry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There was boiling. There was boiling. Bully for the next one you get this this fried almost like a chapati but different. That looks like tapioca. The next one, the bully on top, which is like that you can see noodles in there and then you can see like the milkiness of it. And it's like sauerkraut almost. Oh, bully, sauerkraut okay. tapioca, so perfect. The, bully, the, the chapati on the bottom and then the top is another payasa. And this one you've got to fully like break into small little pieces. The bully, the whole thing, right? Not just like half of it. It's an amazing amazing mixture of your fingers and feeling and you just keep on squeezing until everything is together and see it's like gooey and crunchy and ready wow. <laughs> his buddy is loving doing this with him it's like sweet milkiness and the starchiness and the like vermicelli just sort of melt it kind of is like a faluda a non-drinking faluda the biosomes were good but that was four sweets in a row i'm ready to get back to the rice so they do savory sweet back to savory yeah i guess so thank you two more times rice yes that's like a pineapple Milkiness. It's like saucy yogurt are just flying around the banana leaf right now. The mango and the gooseberry achars are like two of the best flavors of the meal for me. Yes, please, thank you. The next round of rice, thank you. There's gonna be more, okay. Into the rice. Mix in the rice. Mix the rice first. Oh, mix this one. Mix it with your finger. That's awesome. <laughs> you pour this one into your into the rice. Looks like uh, this is the rasam. Pan pan pani puri water. Isn't puri water? Pani. Pani. pani means water? Yeah, pan, right? Pani is the water part. This is just a complete emotional feel, touch and feel meal experience. You can pour this into your hand. Okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> I love it's one of my favorite things about this is the joy on his face watching him do something that he and his culture have done all their life and the joy of him experiencing that I love that when it comes to eating your food and that that like adds so much to it Few things are more bonding than eating with people in their culture oh, and yeah, eating their sure. food. It's such a beautiful bonding experience. Curry with buttermilk and curry leaves floating around. Buttermilk and curry leaves and rice. I'm trying to imagine what that tastes like. Like butter and curry milk. <laughs> I would laugh if we ever went to this place and I whip out my travel fork. It's <laughs> good. <laughs> Great course. It's a lot of food for two dollars and seventy-eight cents. Unbelievable. <laughs> Scraping up all the sauces, everything off of my belly, and there's one thing that you have to end with. That is the the ginger chutney. It has to be your final bite Ooh. so that you start to digest everything. The flavor. It's always a joyous moment, yet a sad moment. Outstandingly delicious, and we followed the, the correct tradition and procedure order of dishes. That was just a mouthful of joy with every bite of it. The dishes were so contrasting, and just the variety, the flavors, the textures, and the feel of it. Everything from the liquids to the solids. What a meal. And rice. Right. 15 curries. 15 curries, 4 payasums, bananas, papadam, chips, and rice. 100% veg, too. That's the greatest vegetarian meal I've ever had. Just rolling out of the, out of the mother veg plaza. That was an astounding A dollar right sixty-eight per person. Meal. I've had hands down in my life. And then just being able to see the process, the customs, the traditions that go along with the meal and the order of the different dishes and just the contrast of flavors. That was fun to eat. That was a feast. Um, and the Kerala Sajia meal is known throughout India. Um, people, and especially people that come to Trivandrum, that is, this is the dish that you have to eat, the meal that you have to eat at least once. And now I know why just that was unbelievable and now that i do stand up <laughs> i think that's the the most filling vegetarian meal i've ever had too the fourth round of rice i was like yes they know what they're doing here and then i think we had fifth and sixth rounds of rice that was <laughs> yes straight up i love watching his eyes open so much not just huge quantities delicious vegetarian food. oh my gosh and then one more shout out to the amazing owner. Uh, he was so friendly with us. He's such a nice guy. And you know, so thank you very much to the entire family that owns this restaurant. <sighs> Blown away by vegetarian food. Well, yeah, if you're vegetarian, there's probably no better place than actually going to India. India. Uh, <laughs> you'll be filled and eat delicious oh. food. Yeah, they've probably mastered oh, yes. the art of vegetarian cooking compared oh, to anywhere else in the world. Most definitely. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I can already say that. I, I, it's it's that's, it's just so good, and all that food looked absolutely I would, delicious. I, would, I was I was very envious. I just I I would have a hard time eating with my hands there. Because here's the thing. So like you you do one thing and it's fine, but now I have to eat something else, and I still have remnants of the other thing oh, still on my hand. Are you the kind of person who, when you eat, you don't like your food to touch and mix? Uh, I don't I, I don't prefer it. Okay, so you yeah. like go out of your way to make sure it's kind of yeah organized. You don't like to mix those things up. No. Yeah. Unless it's mashed potatoes and like green beans it's, or corn. So it's a double whammy Not for green you. Beans, peas. It's a double whammy, the mixing, and then the actual fingers covered in stuff. Yeah, that's the biggest thing. Yeah. Is that. Like, even, like I just don't like to be dirty. 
I do not like to be dirty. Like you can ask him. You know, after we played Holy, oh yeah, I went and Instantly. showered and got everything as off of fast me as he could. Before, like I think everybody else that we were playing with <laughs> was dirty, and they we went to a restaurant afterwards. Yeah, and, <laughs> and Johnny and I were still I was, wet. I was clean, covered up. He had showered. I cannot do it. Yeah. I, I absolutely. I don't like being in wet clothes. I don't like. It's all a sensory thing, I guess. I don't know where. So it how did that go over when you played soccer? Because didn't you get filthy playing soccer? Did you like that feeling? No. Really? See, when I played baseball, one, one, when the, you... oh, being covered in the grass and the dirt was glory. Mm. I didn't like when I come back from the beach. I don't want to shower. Oh, I do. Oh, I want all that salt and grit on me. I, I know, love it. it. Gross. Oh, I love it. No, I shower immediately. No, I from, love uh... the feeling of post beach or post baseball game. No. Yeah. No. Good stuff. Uh, I don't. I don't. I don't know why I am the way that I am, but I am the way that I hey. am. Hey. It is what it is. Um, but anyways, it was a cool video. I would love to go there whenever we go to South India. Yeah. Uh, everybody always asks. We do not have a plan currently. Sorry, guys. I just had but, twins, but, and it was a pandemic. But, yeah, the, <laughs> those two things. However, we actually are at a place where you could forecast in the next year to two, probably, yeah, it's going to happen because and, and no we'll more pandemic. To, we'll go to South, the South. India. Yep. Kerala specifically. I can't wait. Yeah. I can't wait to go to Kerala. Yep. Um, and obviously- We've said all, we'd start in Mumbai. Probably work our way down because we'd probably be able to like, meet some people, do some interviews. Uh, Shreya Ghoshal will cook us dinner. Very much looking forward to that. Yep. Uh, <laughs> she promised. She promised. Anirag's gonna take us out for a weed break. Yeah, as you guys know, of course. <laughs> and uh, Kieran Johar is gonna show us his cocaine room. Can't wait. Yep. Anyways, uh, great video. Let us know to the food videos we can react to. And if there's stuff that we should try here, I would love to try something on a banana leaf. Yeah. I know where to get them now. Obviously, we just need to find the stuff to put on the banana leaf now. Properly, yeah. <laughs> and uh, as you guys know, most Indian restaurants in America are northern Indian restaurants. And I think... Nine out of ten. Banana leaves are more uh, traditionally southern, southern uh, Indian. But if anybody knows anything, please let me know. I would love to try it if I could find a South Indian restaurant here. But then you'd also have to, have to be close enough to where it can, or we'd have to take with an anna leaves and like right. do it in the car or something yeah, like that. We I can't don't know. Do that. Uh, let uh, us know. Uh, other videos are good to down below.